he calmly approached the policeman to tell him that he had murdered a friend of his in his house. He said, hey, I'm just here to turn myself in. I said, for what? He said, uh, excellent shot one last night. His attitude surprised the officer, who didn't know what to think. Of course, his appearance in the parking lot was very calm. But behind that story was a horrible crime scene that hadn't been discovered yet. Hey, how you doing? I'm here. Bobby. Okay. Hey. What's going on? I'm here to uh, turn myself in. Okay, what's going on? I had an accident last night. Okay. I was showing an old friend of mine how to use this gun that she was needing, that she asked for, and it went off and it f***ed her in the chest. Okay. And I've been running around scared. Where is this at? Up on Miami Montgomery County Line Road. Okay. You just want to set your water right there? Sure. You put yourself up there. You got any weapons on you right now? No. Okay, just put your hands behind your back for me. Okay. I'm just going to detain you right now based on what you're telling me. Right. I understand. If you want to talk to me, I'll still talk to you. Okay? All right. Is this person need Ooh. assistance or help or... You have two sets of cuffs? I can put two sets on you in a second, okay? Does this person need help right now or are they or what? They're just Does anybody else know about this? No. I don't know. The man's attitude was surprising to say the least. It didn't fit that image that one can have of a person who killed someone. In fact, on the contrary, he was very willing to cooperate with the policeman at all times and showed a very peaceful attitude to everything that was going on. I'm just gonna check check you down. Go right, go right ahead. I'm in the back lot of the PD in the parking lot. Okay, again, no weapons on you, right? All right. Not even a pocket knife? No. Okay. No, that, I left that in the truck. Okay. Brian, what's your last name, Brian? Mason. Is there a weapon in your truck? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you dropped the cord. Okay. Good. Yeah, this is hurting my back. Okay. I'll try to yeah, when you're done. Hit you up in one second, okay, buddy? When you feel I safe, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, because I wouldn't be here voluntarily, but I've been so scared that it happened. The cop was weirded out by everything that had happened. Maybe he'd never been confronted with a procedure like this before, where the criminal would come to surrender so calmly. But seeing that the man was always willing to cooperate, he approached someone of a higher rank to explain. I said, hey, I'm just here to turn myself in. I said, for what? He said, uh, accident <laughs> last night. So he says that he was at a, on County Line Road, doesn't know the exact address. He said he was shown to friend a gun, and it went off in the chest. And she's just I said, does this person need assistance? They need help, or are they just He said, they're So I detained him. After meeting Brian in person, the officer, the first police officer consulted, was also somewhat surprised. They were clearly trying to handle the whole procedure correctly, but even so, the man's attitude did nothing but baffle them. Even thinking that he came and confessed everything on the spot without the presence of a lawyer. However, of course, they had to proceed step by step with the arrest. Okay, now that you understand your rights, are you willing to, to answer any questions without a lawyer present? Um, um minimal. I mean, I, okay. uh, to be fair, representation is needed. Okay. And, and but at the bare minimum, we're trying to figure out right. this address, this person needs help. Listen. You're telling us that they're beyond really? help at this point. So. But she collapsed instantly. And I got scared. I got frightened and What's ran out. Name? Brian? Nathan? Brian, you, you asked your question and we do need to, a yes or no on that. You can, you can refuse to answer any question we ask okay. them. And you can stop answering at any time like you read you so if you say minimal i mean we need to know if you want a, a lawyer or if you're willing to answer some questions you can always refuse to answer any question that you want to refuse to answer okay. you know i appreciate you guys respect. thank you very much um yes at this time i can answer some questions um well, first of all let me ask you this has this been reported to law enforcement at all no this is it this is it i'm walking in because I know this is the right thing to do. 
The truth is that after several minutes of talking in the parking lot, they decided to take him inside the station to continue with the interrogation and for him tell them the name of the victim and the address of the house where everything had happened. Upon arriving at the scene, the officers found the body of Michelle Elliott, a 57-year-old woman lying dead on the floor on top of a pool of blood. Brian Mason was charged with reckless homicide as he knew that what he was doing could be dangerous but he still continued with the action, for which he could be sentenced to a maximum of three years and a fine of close to $10,000. I had an accident last night. Okay. I was showing an old friend of mine how to use this gun that she was needing, that she asked for, and it went off and it just. Okay. And I've been running around scared. Where is this at? 